Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. And I'm here at the Resto Mod Shop or RMS in Cibolo, Texas. It's Milo's shop, and basically, I'm going to be cleaning a lot of these Ram Charger parts and then sandblasting some of the engine brackets and stuff, getting them um, primered and painted so they don't look so freaking ugly. As you can see, transmission and transfer case you need to get sprayed off. They're not too dirty, but I want to get most of that dirt out. And then right here in the back, all the parts that I need to go ahead and sandblast and paint. So let's get started. All right, you guys know how on YouTube videos, time lapse happens and then things come out absolutely perfect. Well, I'm here to tell you that ain't gonna be today. I got it to a point where I can actually clean up some of these details at the house, especially this transfer case. Uh, parts of it look pretty new. Like right here, you can tell I really got down and dirty in there. Uh, I just got a couple of nooks and crannies that I need to get into, but since this is a Saturday and they're working on Saturday, my time is very limited. And since I have so many parts to sandblast, um, I need to get moving basically. So I don't want to get too hung up on getting that absolutely clean when the engine stuff is really what i came here to do i just thought it'd be great to spray down that super greasy trans and transfer case so now what i'm gonna do is do the same thing with some of these parts pressure wash them give them a light scrub but they gotta dry before i throw them into that media blast because i don't want any of that to cake up and they get stuck in the gun so let's get started All right, so I don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of sandblasting because it's basically, that's what it is, you're sandblasting parts. So I got here on this fancy tree on the side of the shop, um, all the parts, as you can see, they haven't been primered yet. They haven't been painted. This is just after the sandblast. I did go ahead and clean these and tack them down. Uh, so I'm just letting them get some heat from the sun and I'll go ahead and start spraying these with the high temp primer. You can see much, much, much later. All right, time warp to about like two hours later. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I am freaking cooked. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! Uh, but here is the timing cover I painted at. Got the, I painted that, but I got the, uh, this pulley. I got the valve covers, they're still kind of drying. Uh, everybody already left from the shop for the day. This still needs another coat of uh, black paint. But for the most part, all these pieces are complete. The only parts that I, didn't get to uh, painting are the AC compressor brackets, um, but they are sandblasted and prepped. There they are. So I still at the back of the power wagon so I can go ahead and lay the painted parts. I still want to hit with some more sun when I get home and then finish touching them up. But all right, that's going to wrap up the shop portion of prepping these parts. As you can see, with some elbow grease, the proper tools, you can make any part refurbish and make it look like new without expending extraordinary amounts of money it does take time i'm tired it's like 5 p.m on a saturday uh been here since 8 a.m so pretty much a full work day of non-stop work uh, but i knew this is what it was going to take in order to get this done but once this is done we can finally or i can finally start putting this 318 motor back together get it sealed up and back into the ram charger so rant's over let me go ahead pack all this stuff up So at the end of yesterday, I was completely whooped. I was exhausted. I couldn't help but pose the question to myself, why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we take a vehicle, start breaking it down, and start rebuilding it up? And I really got to thinking about this as I was getting my hair cut, and I started kind of piecing it all together because this isn't the first rodeo. And basically there's only one answer that I could really come up with. And that answer for me at least is that when I drive my classic 83 CJ7 that I've poured so much time and energy into that a lot of you can relate to is really the only vehicle that gives me this sense of absolute freedom. And 
you see, that's kind of the whole point of refurbishing, rebuilding these classic vehicles is to come out to places like this, get immersed in nature and just kind of break away from the everyday routine. And I think to me is why we put ourselves through the restoration process. It's why we put ourselves through the grueling heat in the summer, through the cold winter nights in the garage, wrenching on our vehicles to actually enjoy them. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Why do you wrench? Why do you bust your knuckles? Why do you spend all this money on all these car parts to build your perfect and your dream vehicle? And to me, especially with the Jeep, the Ram Charger, it's that feeling of freedom. It's that feeling of connectivity with the road, with the person, to, with the person in my passenger seat. And that's really what it boils down to. As always, guys, if you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Until next time, peace out.